New revelations on the NSA spying program this morning. Some of our closest allies are furious. Andrea Mitchell is NBC's chief foreign affairs correspondent. Andrea, good morning to you. Good morning, Matt. Today, reports in a major Spanish paper, El Mundo, that the NSA recently tracked more than 60 million calls in only one month. This as Germany's spy chiefs are now heading to Washington this week, demanding answers about the NSA spying on Germany's leader, Angela Merkel, with Europe demanding new rules of the road to control America's vast electronic snooping. When he was a candidate, Barack Obama was a rock star in Europe. That was then. This is now. As Europe reacts angrily to news that the U.S. spied on 35 leaders, including listening in on German Chancellor Angela Merkel's personal cell phone, in her case for more than a decade. All from what Der Spiegel today calls Dust Nest, a CIA unit inside the mammoth U.S. Embassy in Berlin. How did the man who won the Nobel Peace Prize just months into his presidency become the subject of Europe's scorn? The White House can thank NSA leaker Edward Snowden whose latest revelations have forced President Obama to apologize to France's President Hollande, Germany's Chancellor Merkel, as well as current and former leaders in Mexico, and Brazil's President Rousseff, who even canceled a state visit to Washington. She was so angry. And while the NSA scandal is now also causing protests at home, with European allies it could cost serious money. The European Union, America's largest trading partner, is threatening to cancel pending trade talks with the U.S. When we're doing this on Germany, on France, on Great Britain, uh, and other nations that we've been allied with in fighting al-Qaeda and invading Libya together, these kinds of things uh, just, just trample trust. The administration and its defenders say most of the spying is legitimate for the protection of the U.S. and its allies. So a bad guy in Afghanistan... Uh, can use networks in, in France or Germany or Great Britain or the United States and plan operations with somebody else who may be in Afghanistan. But you could still use all of those networks. The NSA has issued an unusual denial of one British report that said President Obama had been told three years ago that the NSA was eavesdropping on Merkel's cell phone. But that is the only clear denial so far as the administration is now scrambling to answer angry allies without knowing just what Edward Snowden will leak next. Matt?